In this video, we'll go into a little more detail about audio tracks. You can add as many audio tracks as you like by clicking Insert Audio Tracks. Rearrange tracks by clicking on the track title in the track control panel. Then drag and drop the track to where you want it. Change the track title by double clicking on the track panel. Then enter a new name for the track. As before, you can click Help or press F1 to get more information. The track control panel gives you other functions. As you saw before, this button expands and shrinks the track, which helps you see more tracks on the screen by hiding parts of the track that you're not currently using. You can make the track even bigger by right-clicking on the track control panel, moving to the Expand Track sub-menu, and picking the size you want. This button mutes the track during playback. Click it again to unmute. This button locks the track to prevent you or someone else from accidentally moving or sizing clips on the track. Click it again to unlock the track. This button in the middle puts the track in solo mode. It mutes all other audio tracks in the timeline during playback so that only the audio in this track is heard. Click the solo button again to disable solo mode. Only one audio track at a time can be in solo mode, so if you click this button on another track, it will disable solo mode for any other track. The track slider controls the overall volume of the track during playback. Let me briefly mention that pop-up window I told you to ignore in the last video. When you drag an MP3 or WMA file onto a track for the first time, Venue Magic converts it into a WAV file and saves it to a special folder. That's because Venue Magic prefers to work with WAV files. Once that file is converted, Venue Magic will remember it across all timelines and projects so that we'll never have to convert it again. Lastly, I'll show you how to add your own sounds and music to Venue Magic projects. Venue Magic comes installed with a small assortment of music and sound effects to get you started. To add your own music, do the following. First, create a new folder for your audio by right-clicking on the audio folder in the project window, and select Add Folder. You can see the newly added folder here. Right-click on it, and select Rename. Then give the folder a new name. To add one or more audio files to your new folder, right-click on the folder and select Import Audio File. Now select the audio file you want. You can select multiple files by clicking on a range of files while holding down the Shift or Control key on your keyboard. Then click the Open button. If you have more than 10 or 20 files you want to add, you might consider using Import Audio Library instead. Locate a folder that has your audio in it and click OK. Venue Magic will automatically search through the selected folder and all subfolders and load all of the WAV, MP3, and WMA files that it finds.